Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today we will be developing a beginner's program on the website code.org. Code.org is a free website in which you can make your own code and start developing your first game. So today we will be developing a small program which will be looking like this at the end of it. In this program, there are two sprites. One is a ball, which you can see is moving randomly over here, and one is an obstacle. When the ball collides with the ob obstacle, as you can see, it bounces back off it. So let's go ahead and start developing our program. Let me open a new tab. Let's go to the website code.org. And as you can see over here, I've made my own ID. If you want to go ahead and type in your own code, you can do so and make your own ID. So I'm going to go to create game lab. Now what you will see over here is a blank space in which we will be developing our code. We can switch our type of code in which we're going to make. So this is the text mode for easiness let's make it into blocks okay so function draw that that's you already get that when you open the website code.org and go into game lab so the first thing in any game you want of course is a sprite a sprite is any object which you control with your arrow keys or you want it to control it, it with your game you want it to be displayed on the display screen in your canvas right over here and etc so let's go ahead and make a sprite let's drag and drop our var sprite function over here we can name our sprite so in this case let's name it a ball these two blocks over here it are to decide a things our sprites position in this case what's already written over here is 200 200 so 200 200 in a canvas is right in the middle of it as you can see a little over here now as you can see there's an arrow over here in this arrow we'll press these arrows two times and you'll see two blank spaces over here these two blank spaces are for the size of your ball of your sprite in this case let's give it the size of 10 and 10 so this will be kind of a block a square in my in my other videos i'll teach you how to make an animation out of our sprite so now let's give let's tell our computer to draw whatever we could that's necessary if we want our code to be displayed in our canvas let's go ahead and try this out as you can see over here there's a ball which is displayed and when we code this further we'll be able to give it characteristics now what we're going to have to do is that of course we want our ball to move around and hit the edges and to bounce back so what we can do is that we can give our sprite velocity velocity is the speed of our ball so if we give it a velocity our ball will be moving ball dot velocity y equals let's we can give it a velocity of three now you see that our ball is moving but it's leaving behind its trail so wherever the ball goes it leaves its trail behind of course we don't want that to happen so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to the drawing uh, drawing area we're going to see that there's a background color function this function it allows us to um, to set the background color we can give it any color but in this program i'm going to be giving it a yellow color sorry blue, yellow now you'll see it's our sprite it's moving and it's not even leaving a trail behind now you see that 
our bull it's running out of the screen and it doesn't it's not reacting with our edges to make it react with our edges what we'll do is that we are going to make edges a sprite so we can do that with our create edges sprite function this function allows us to so for example if it's um if we are if we want to take our edge as a sprite we can um we can use this function okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the bounce off our function this function is going to allow us to uh so when our ball is going to hit the sprite our ball is going to collide with the edge and it's going to bounce back to our and it's going to be traveling back up the field so let's go ahead and do that ball dot bounce off edges now you'll see that it's when the ball collides with the edge our ball is going a little up but then back down again that is because we've set our ball a velocity ball dot velocity y equals three what we can do is to fix that problem is that we can also add an x velocity so what we can do is we can add an x velocity ball dot velocity x equals let's give it three two let's now try it but now you'll see it's again there's the same problem the same problem is occurring in our game in our module because our velocity y and x they're inside the function draw the computer it will be reading it inside the function draw so it will keep reading the velocity so it will keep on changing instantly so to solve this problem we will be taking um swapping uh, our ball velocity from here to outside the function draw and we'll reduce this velocity because in the previous program it was quite fast now you see our ball it's traveling perfectly now what we will be doing is that we will add an obstacle to our game so that if our um, ball collides with the obstacle it will be bouncing back so let's create a sprite outside our function draw and let's let's name it obstacle it uh, these two blocks are as I told you uh, for the position of the sprite so let's give it a position of about 170 and 100 so the x value of our obstacle is 170 and the y value of our obstacle is 100 now you'll see that uh, we'll have to um, set our size of it so let's give it the size of 70 and 10 that will be worth it okay so now you see over here it's drawn the um our sprite the optical sprite it's visible in our canvas now as you see that our bull it will if it collides with our obstacle it will go through it so it will not uh, bounce off it so uh, what we want is that should, it should uh, collide with our um, with our obstacle and and it should bounce back so let's uh, let's use the bounce off function what we'll do is ball bull because the ball is moving early bull dot bounce off obstacle now whenever the ball collides with our with our obstacle uh, it will um, bounce off it so it won't go through it but it will bounce off it and let's just wait for it to collide oh let's 
Let's just increase the speed for testing so that it okay so that it collides faster. Okay, now you see our game is good, and over here it bounced off our obstacle sprite. Okay, that's our game completed. Thanks for viewing my video guys and see you in our next video.